walk you through the process of spoofing your user agent string using um, Firefox browser. So what we're going to be using to spoof this agent string is a add-on for Firefox. And this add-on is called user agent switcher, which you can just search for on Google. And uh, stick around because towards the end of this video I'm going to show you how to do this uh, the more technical way by intercepting your uh, header traffic. But um, you can go ahead and add this to Firefox and install it and then restart. And once you do that, you should have Trying to view our, yes, our add-on bar. Okay, so inside of our tools menu, we're going to have our default user agent option selector, and then you can then uh, change this to Internet Explorer, uh, search robot, that kind of thing. You can also add your own user agent um, by editing this string. And be careful doing this unless you know the exact string that you want to spoof because sometimes websites won't recognize it unless the entire thing is correct. So um, that being said, that's everything really to using this add-on. It's a very simple add-on and it's located in the tools menu and your default user agent. However, if you are looking for a more technical way of doing this, there's an add-on called Tamper Data, which we're going to show you how to use here. So, opening that up, you're going to have to accept and install it. Restart Firefox. And we're going to go ahead and start up Tamper Data, also located in the Tools menu. So what Tampa Data does, it allows you to modify the headers that are being sent along with your web traffic. So inside of our page here, if we click Start Tamper, and then you can either refresh this page or go to any other website, and click on the Tamper button, and you'll then see a user agent option here. So what you're doing here is you're modifying on the fly the user agent string that's being passed in your request that you made, and this is being sent along to the server. So you can then paste in your user agent string here, and when you hit OK, the request that you make will be sent to that website using the user agent string that you pasted inside of this request. So this um, method is a little more uh, laborious because what you need to do is paste this in each time you make a request. If you want to change it for a more permanent basis, I recommend using the other user agents which are add-on that we just um, showed you. So that's everything. If you have any uh, questions or comments about this, then leave a comment on the video and I'll try to help you out. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for some other 